Hello, and welcome to this Let's Play of Riven, the sequel to Myst. Is what I said 15 years ago, and I wasn't really expecting to ever say it again. But here we are, with the 2024 remake of the 1997 original. While Myst has been remade approximately 110 billion times, Riven never was, until now. Unlike the various Myst remakes, this isn't quite a straight remake. There are a number of changes to the puzzles, lore, and world building. If you plan to play this version yourself and are only familiar with the original, you probably shouldn't watch these videos if you want to avoid spoilers. And it's definitely worth playing, as I think this remake is nothing short of amazing. Riven is my favorite game of all time, and it was where things got started for this channel, my first ever Let's Play. The downside of doing my favorite game first is that it was a bit rough around the edges. Some technical issues, lower quality video and audio, I mean, I edited the thing in Windows Movie Maker, and I didn't really nail down my style of doing things yet. In the original Let's Play Riven, I immediately start giving backstory on, on things the player can't possibly know yet, which isn't how I do things nowadays. So, for this Let's Play of the remake, I intend to follow what would become my more normal approach. Pretend I don't know anything and don't give any information that, uh, that couldn't be reasonably deduced by the player at that point in the game. I will still give some information that we only know from other sources, uh, which you can't learn from the game. And of course, uh, some comparisons to the original will be inevitable. Anyway, you've probably all seen my videos before, you know how this works. Last time we saw Atrus, at the end of Myst, he told us that he might need our help with a much greater foe than his sons could even imagine. So, let's head back to Kavir to see what our old friend wants our help with now. Many ages, infinite truths, old Dunny proverb. Thank God you've returned. I need your help. There's a great deal of history that you should know, but I'm afraid there's no time to explain. Most of what you'll need to know is in here. For reasons you will discover, I can't send you to Riven with a way out. But, I can give you this. It appears to be a linking book back here to Dunny, but it's actually a one-person prison. It's the only way to capture Gen. Here. Once you freed Catherine, I'll come with a linking book. She'll know how to signal me. There's a very good chance, if all this goes well, that you'll be returned to the place that you came from. And he just leaves us here. Apparently links to Mist. You can just barely see the library through uh, the linking panel. But he locked the book in that box. Which we don't seem to be able to open. Somebody turned all the lights out in Kavir. Anyway, we should probably uh, do what he asked, which is to use this linking book and go to the place he called Riven. That linking panel doesn't look so good compared to other books we've used before, but 
I guess it's safe. And I do want to uh, find a way home sometime, so it's not like we have much choice. There doesn't appear to be any other way out of this place. And we're trapped. This plan is off to a great start. Show to you too. Uh, are you okay? Someone else there? Hello? We're trapped here. Hello? Yeah, that that's my book. Could you give that back? I guess the answer is no. Sir? He's gone. And he took my book. I kind of needed that book. Well, he did set us free, I guess, from... whatever this is. So it can't be all bad. Did he take the other guy with him? Where are we? Oh, there's the other guy. Wait. That's... A thing that goes somewhere. Maybe that's the guy who took our book leaving? I don't know. Are you okay? I mean, you stole my book, but I hope he's okay. Anyway, we made it. We're no longer trapped. Is it safe to go back in there, or are we going to get trapped again? Things I would not try in real life. I guess this lever probably 
arms the cage to shut when uh, somebody stands in there. It's probably a pressure plate. But uh, our rescuer appears to have jammed the mechanism by sticking a knife in there. Um, wait. Tiny knife? Big knife. Kind of the same design. I wonder if that's intentional. Looks like this is an island, or at least we're on the coast. There's some islands nearby. Pretty much every age we visited so far was an island. Mechanical was like three islands, with a fortress in the middle. Selenitic was an island. Stone ship was, well, more of a series of rocks than a real island, but still. It was in the middle of the sea. Uh, Channelwood wasn't even an island. The whole thing was underwater. But, uh, and Rhyme, of course, was also an island. So I'm going to guess this is two. What is this thing? It's, um, not much to see through here. It's kind of black mostly. Oh no, there's some stars. Wait, stars. How are you looking at stars? This is a telescope, but it doesn't look like it's there's a lens on the top. Maybe underneath that handle. Also, it's broad daylight, so that wouldn't work. Um, this lever is either broken or just doesn't do anything. Not sure built on top of these metal plates that have this weird symbol on them. And there's another viewport. Stars are below us? They're underneath this metal plating. Those can't be actual stars we're looking at then. Something is underneath here that looks like stars. Looks like there was a weird gap here, a fissure in the rock that was closed by these plates. And then somebody put this machinery over it. That is a giant building. Much bigger than anything we've seen Atris build in the various ages we've uh, visited so far. Is this one of the ages that Atrus wrote? We don't really know. We don't really know anything. Um, this is not working. Disabled, locked. Maybe it doesn't have power? There's a pipe that goes up there somewhere. Whatever this is. Looks like it might be usable to lift this contraption. If that, go that part hooks underneath the handle on top. Maybe it was used to put this here? Who knows. It looks like the plating continues down this way. Oh, there's a door there. I guess I could lower myself down, but I'm not sure if I could get back up, so... Not really keen on trying that. There's water on this side too, thus reinforcing the whole island thing. And a spinning... 
dome over there on a big pole. Big dome, small dome. Big dagger, small dagger. Seems to be a theme. Whatever crack has been sealed here seems to continue in the rock there. It's kind of weird. There's no stars underneath there, though. I'm not sure. Oh, waitress, if only you could have explained to us. There's a little machine up there. See the shadow of it here, but don't know what it is. If only Atrus could have explained to us where we were going and what we were doing. Actually, wait, he did. He gave us more than just the one book that was stolen from us. He gave us a second book and said most of what we'll need to know is in there. And it looks like that was not taken yet. Yeah, the game told us uh, earlier that we can hit tab to uh, open our satchel, which is what Atrus gave us. And it serves as a replacement for the black bar on the bottom of the original, where various journals you were carrying uh, were accessible. I think that's a nice solution, instead of having a separate inventory screen. Uh, looks like this is a journal. We do know Atris loves his journals. So, I think we should read this before we continue so we actually know what we're doing. 87610. Well, the year is 1807, I think. I left in 1806, but it might just be... January 1807 now. So, it's not 1810 or 1910 unless more time than I have thought has passed. Or if it is 1810, this was written a very long time ago, but then it was written in the month 87 or the 87th day of the sixth month. That seems unlikely. Actually, the second entry here has the first two numbers the same, and the third number is different. So, it's probably year, month, day. The only sensible way to write dates. Um, <coughs> so, it's the year 87. It's not 1887. Maybe this was written in 1787. That's possible, I suppose. It's a while ago. And then June 10th. Not sure if that's right, but not like we can tell. Um, well, let's actually read it, though. Maybe we'll learn something rather than just focusing on the dates. They held for more than 30 years, but the corrections I made to Riven have finally failed. The island has resumed the familiar pattern of decay that is the hallmark of my father's work. I must now race to implement this new patch before it's too late. I only hope that my revised theories are sound. 87.6.16 Revisions to Riven completed. There are still a number of minor adjustments that need to be made, but the basic corrections are in and should be working. Something's not right. I've been monitoring the instruments for several hours now but have thus far observed no change. It's possible I've made an error, though I've checked my entry against my pre-notation and can find no discrepancy. I haven't slept in nearly three days, so it may be that I'm just not seeing it. If the fault is with my foundational assumptions, however, perhaps after a short rest I will see something. 87.6.18 Success! It appears that my repairs have been effective after all. The gateway image has become noticeably clearer, and although it's impossible to know this with absolute certainty, the island seems to have quieted itself. 
Just a few more weeks of work and I should be free, at last, to go there myself and attempt to bring Catherine back. The past eight months have left me little time to devise a strategy for getting her out of there. There's been no sign from her in all that time. I only hope that... No, I must assume she's alright, lest my fears undermine my efforts. 87619 I did not create the Age of Ribbon. Unlike my father, I have never presumed to have such power. And yet the future of all those who live there has fallen into my hands. So far, I've managed to read the page before it turns. The island continues to appear stable, and I would like to believe that I have saved a dying world. But the theories of one individual cannot support the lives of real people indefinitely. I must get everyone off of Riven as soon as possible. The problem now is Gen. I'll never be able to rescue Catherine and relocate the islanders if he is still the man he used to be. I haven't seen him in over 30 years, but given his history, I must assume that he's still a threat. His myopic mission to restore the Dunny civilization has left too many innocent cultures dying in its wake, a pattern that would no doubt continue were he to ever escape the confines of Riven. For more than three decades now, the universe has been safe from his corruptive influence, because no one has been able to leave that ill-fated age, the last linking book out of Riven having been lost in the Starfisher upon my return to Mist. That was our intention, to maroon my father on Riven by removing all the existing links to other worlds. And since the libraries containing the vast and intricate knowledge needed to construct linking books remained largely confined to the ruins of Dunny, he would be trapped there for the remainder of his lifetime, and effectively segregated from the countless other worlds that he would have invaded. This is what we achieved, but the way it fell was no one's ideal. And although the sting of it has gradually faded over the years, the deep pain of the responsibility for what actually came to pass has never left me. At the time it all seemed so clear, Gen's destructive path could not be allowed to continue. But it was never my wish that the innocent inhabitants of Riven, who had already suffered so much, would be the ones to have to pay for it. But enough. To dwell in the past is to die in the present. And the situation is not the same as it was then. The knowledge I've acquired since that time has yet to be factored into the equation. 87620 I think I have a solution for rescuing Catherine. Why it did not occur to me sooner, I do not know, unless the thought had been pushed out with the memory of my sons. A prison book. Many years ago, during a hunting expedition through the ruins of Dunny, I chanced upon a formula for a most unusual type of book. Unfortunately, as my father was then in the habit of confiscating my discoveries, I had to leave it behind. Years later, however, as part of my efforts to protect the vulnerable worlds linked to the books in my library, I was pleased to find I could still recall most of the formula, and with little experimentation quickly succeeded in creating one of those devices myself. The procedure is actually quite simple. By altering key lines of text but slightly, a normal linking book's connection can be partially severed, such that anyone who attempts to use the book will be permanently trapped in the dark void of the link, unless someone else then uses the book, at which point that person becomes trapped and the first person displaced back into the world. That seems important. It's been kind of highlighted by marking it like that. The technique can be applied to books that have already been written, changes to the text being so slight that anyone who is unfamiliar with the code will be unable to detect them. If my father is indeed unchanged, what better bait could there be than a book that appeared to be a link back here to Dunny? 8772. Trouble. My nightly analysis of the island's condition has revealed that the tremors have started again. The pattern, however, is new. The disturbances are the result of the changes I have made. This did not at first concern me. Tremors of this type were one of the possible side effects I'd anticipated during the initial phase of the island's readjustment. But in order to verify my assumptions, I recalculated, incorporating the new data. 
The results were not what I expected. The damage to the understructure is more extensive than I'd realized. I can no longer go to Riven as planned. Catherine, forgive me. 8773. I must act while I have the time. The signs are as yet barely visible, but there is no question that the island's deterioration is accelerating. Total collapse is imminent unless I can keep ahead of it, and that is becoming increasingly difficult to do. 8775. With every passing moment, I gain a clearer picture of the incredible chaos that my father's shortcuts have yielded. But it's a dismaying process. The complexity of the problem is overwhelming. There is no good end to this. The last few days have convinced me that the collapse of Riven is inevitable, and that at best I can only strive to delay it in the hope that at some point the island will become stable enough to risk a rescue attempt. 8777. I think I've come up with a way to subdue the tremors. It will require my exclusive attention for at least a month or two, so it may be necessary to discontinue these journal entries for a while. Um, well, something came up because you made another entry only six days later. 87713. Something truly miraculous has happened. Beyond all conceivable probability, someone has found my lost missed linking book and freed me from this prison. Wait, that has to be us. He's talking about me. But that means this isn't 1787. 20 years ago. If 87 is the current year, then this is not a calendar I'm familiar with, because, yep, yeah, it's 1807 right now. He must be using some Dunny calendar, perhaps? I immediately realized that this could be the solution to my dilemma, and I believe my mysterious benefactor is willing to assist me. The logistics of such a scheme are formidable, but the fact that it may now be possible for me to continue my repairs to Riven, while also proceeding with my original intent to find Catherine, has renewed my hopes. 87716. The last few days have left me little time to work out the remaining problems with sending someone else to Riven. It did occur to me, however, that if a way could be found to signal me once my fa- again has been captured, it would no longer be necessary to take a real linking book to Riven, and thereby risk the possibility of inadvertently freeing him. The, deteriora the deteriorated state of the gateway image would seem to make the use of a visual signal impossible, yet the picture remains a reliable indicator of Riven's condition, nonetheless. By measuring and interpreting variations in the noise patterns, I am still able to observe basic changes that occur in the age, even though I cannot see them. The problem is that my instruments can only detect changes that occur at a fundamental level, and it seems unlikely that an individual would be able to effect such an elementary change from within an age. The idea may be foolish. Still, there is a known weakness that may be worth investigating. An unstable anomaly that appears as a rift between two separate realms. The Star Fissure. But how this feature might be exploited, I cannot say. Sending someone to Riven also means that once signaled, I will have to leave my writing in order to take a real linking book there myself. Provided my father is safely out of the way, this should take little time. Assuming the island does not incur any serious damage during my absence, I should then be able to return to Kavir and hold it together long enough for Catherine to evacuate the remaining islanders. Predetermining a specific signal, signal may simply be impossible, but I'm afraid there can only be one answer to the question of whether or not I should send my friend to Riven with a way out. The potential for success will be greatly increased and the possibility of disaster greatly diminished if the prison book is all that is taken there. My father is no doubt expecting me to bring a linking book to Riven. May not be dis disappointed. Well, that certainly made things a lot clearer. Although, not as clear as they perhaps could be. So it seems that the Age of Riven, where we are right now, was written not by Atrus, but by Gen, his father. And that something about 
his father's way of writing Aegis has made it unstable. And it is falling apart. Maybe that's why there's a hole in the ground here that was patched? It's possible. It also seems that Catherine, Atris' wife, who of course we know about as far back as that note we found on Mist, is here somewhere, trapped by Gen, and Atris wants to rescue her. And that's why he sent us here. To capture Gen using the prison book that we were given, similar to the prison books that we saw used for his sons in the library on Mist. Unfortunately, we don't have that book anymore, so we're going to have to get it back if we want to execute that part of the plan. We will then also have to find Catherine and rescue her. And then get everybody off of Riven before it collapses. It seems to me that Gen, if he is indeed trapped here, would be pretty desperate to get out. I would be if I was trapped on... I mean, it looked like a nice place, honestly. But um, I'd still want to be able to get home. And he was probably hoping that at some point, Atris or someone else would come here, would use the Riven linking book like we did, and bring a linking book back to Dunny, or elsewhere at least. And that's why he installed this device here. To capture anybody who linked in here, knowing that this is the place where the book linked to. Of course, he also knows that that place can be seen through the um, linking panel in the book. And probably didn't know how deteriorated that image had become, so he didn't want to make it look like a cage. So instead he made this nice looking... ...golden structure, as if the linking place is merely a place of, uh, of honor. And disguised it as a cage, and posted a guard here. In case anybody did show up, and um, he seemed very surprised. That we did show up. And was caught off guard and blow darted by someone who then ran away with our book. The journal also mentioned a thing called the Star Fisher. Well, we have here a fisher that seems to be filled with stars. And he said that it might help us in um, creating a signal. This looks like it might be a hatch, actually. Doesn't look like we can open it, though. Actually, it looks like it's been welded shut. So if it was ever used, it isn't anymore. I don't really know how. He also suggested that Catherine might know how to signal him. So that's something to investigate. Well, doesn't look like we can do much here, though. So let's take a look around. Some stairs leading up here. Press the escape button on your keyboard to open the menu. I don't think I will right now. Um, there's a room on our left here. And a bridge to our right. Hmm. We can also go straight down. What the? There's just a hole in the water there. And some broken pillar right next to it. 
steam coming up from there. So I wonder what that's about. It's actually not the only one. There's holes over there too. Kind of did this, didn't notice them before. Too distracted by my immediate surroundings. That's not how water works to my knowledge. Now let's go this way. See what's over this bridge. Palm-like tree. There's quite a few of those here. There's a chimney up there. It's a cave. With some stairs. And a light fixture. Very considerate of whoever built this. And it leads to a big room. This is a weird place. Makes me feel like a church or temple of some kind. There's a big symbol in a stained glass window over there. Which I don't know what it is. Maybe like five leaves in a circle. Some symbol in the middle. Who or what do they worship here? Um, this door seems to suggest that this person in the middle is being worshipped. There's a symbol on this person's chest. That's the same symbol as in the middle of that a big symbol over there. Some kind of cage with an offering bowl or something in the middle? I'm not sure. Or is this meant to be an altar? Or maybe a dace from which to speak? I'm not sure. Um, this looks like it might be a representation of an animal of some kind. Pretty menacing looking. And they've offered it some fruits by the looks of it. I can't take them. Even though I'm pretty hungry. I haven't eaten anything since I linked a mist. Also looks like bottles of some kind of drink are part of this offering. So maybe they're just worshipping this animal. But then what's the images on door over here about. Looks like a door anyway. Doesn't seem to be any way to open it. Another animal on this side. Same deal. Doesn't look like there's any way out of here though, other than the way we came in. We've lost some god rays here, compared to the original. So that's a bit of a shame. Other than that, I think they've done an amazing job preserving the visual fidelity of Ribbon. Of course, yes, the 3D animated characters are a big step down from the original full motion video recordings of the actors. But, on the plus side, they are also a huge step up from the abominations that were in the Mist 2021 remake. <laughs> they aren't great, but they're serviceable. And especially with this game support in VR and the fact that we don't just see people through, like, blurry linking panels. It was kind of inevitable that we had to have... a different solution than video. In Abduction they could get away with it because again, everybody we saw, with the exception of CW, who was behind a big door and still didn't look convincing in, in VR, by the way, um, everybody was a projection that was flat, so 
They could be flat even in VR. Wouldn't have worked here though. Wait a second, that symbol we saw on the stained glass window, I feel like we saw that. That was down here. Let's check it out. There's these pipes going to different islands, as well as these tracks that we saw being used by some kind of vehicle. Yes, same symbol on the floor of the linking cage and on the top of it as well. Somebody really wants us to know about that symbol. There's also this weird symbol. Don't know what that is. That, of course, was not there in the original. These were just plain metal plates. And if you happen to have been in uh, at Mysterium in Spokane in 2023, you have seen they actually showed a prop of one of these plates with the new symbol on it. Or if you saw, saw the live stream of their Riven reveal during that convention. Already quite a few other changes here as well, of course. Uh, don't want to... Spend too much time hammering on the changes, but yes, uh, this machinery wasn't here. The telescope looks a little bit different, and this viewport wasn't there either. There's a viewport while I also have a telescope. I'm assuming you might have been able to, like, adjust the zoom or something to look deeper into the star fields below. Doesn't look like it's something we can do at present. Anyway, we have more ways we can go. Wait, that actually looks like a, a broken support for those tracks. So, were there once tracks going that way? There is still a, a pipe going that way. You can just barely see something through the fog there. Hmm, another island that we can't really see from here? Perhaps. Um, I kind of want to check out the big room next. But we'll do that in the next video.